Okay, so this is the thing. So for feeling the feelings, I, I do recommend this is one of the primary tools that, that I use. And what is it? It's just to sit in a chair, try not to slouch, and um, if you're able to keep your back relatively straight, that's good. Uh, and what you're doing then is, uh, you can close your eyes, later on you can have them open, it doesn't really matter too much, is, and you're having an attitude of, uh, I'm going to use words to describe it, it's like allowing, it's like fully allowing or not non-resistance. Um, or even welcoming that which is repressed and suppressed. Your work, it's not like from your head, but it's like a spiritual welcome to everything that's trapped within you to come up. So, so you're just allowing all the suppressed and repressed stuff, energies and vibrations to be welcomed in at full force. Uh, don't, and try and have no fear for welcoming up, even if it comes up very, very strongly, welcome it. Now, in terms of the thinking, uh, the main thing to do here is to not label. Mm. You, do not do, you do not need to use your head while what is being experienced is being experienced. While these energies are coming up, the head is not required. Uh, some people try and think to, to know if they're doing it perfectly or if they're doing it, let it all go. Mm. You don't need any mental activity while this is happening. So how do you do that? You, um, so as soon as a thought emerges, like, am I doing this properly? No, detach from that thought, let it go. And then another thought will emerge, like, oh, I forgot to do the shopping. No, let that thought go, you know. Um, so as the thoughts come up, and the practice is, you're letting the thoughts go quicker and quicker, then the better you get at it. So you know when a thought comes up, like, I need to do the shopping, that means you only, let it go after it had, had been in, you've been in thought for like two seconds. So that's like a whole sentence got out before you let it go. Mm. So it's the, the more you do the process, the quicker you get at not letting it go into thought and into a story or a sentence. So then it becomes like later on as you practice, it's like, oh, but I forgot, no, let it go. And then back to the feeling, just let the feelings be. And the next thought starts to, you let, it, you let that thought go, you don't even let it fully form and you're back to just allowing. So you don't need any, you know, there's, a, there's like an addictive tendency to go into thought. And it can, you know, if you let the, th the thought emerge, then it's like two sentences, three sentences before it stopped. So you're getting quicker and quicker at letting the thought go and just letting the energies come up. Yeah. So there isn't a you. If there's no thinking, there's no you. So it's just everything is coming up without a you. Yeah. And... Uh, so realize that people who are in the ego are even they're repressing their feelings mentally. People mentally repress their feelings. Mm -hmm. So you're taking that off. Let everything come up. And, and you don't need thinking. So you're just welcoming up everything. Let it all come up. Have the attitude, no matter how much comes up, don't resist it. Don't try and push it down again. Um, if you feel if it feels like an overwhelm, um, if you've got the courage, let it all come up. You know, and, and be with it. Uh, so thinking is not necessary. Just let the thoughts go and just welcome everything up. And okay, so if there's, if there's like tight, you know, often people might have tightness in the stomach or might have, you know, the head might feel tense or whatever, then you just allow it. Just allow it to just fully experience it without resisting it. Just welcome it and just let it. You know, when I would welcome these things, they might become more intense, but eventually they start to dissolve. You don't need to make a story and call it something or edit it. So we're going to do, um, what we'll do is we'll do five minutes and then uh, we'll see how we're doing. Okay.